The governor's office of planning and budget has allocated over $8 million to make in Bibb County in COVID-19 relief funding through the CARES Act. Ashlyn Webb explains what commissioners will consider tomorrow when they decide how to divide that money up. On Tuesday, Macon Bibb County commissioners are set to discuss a handful of topics relating to COVID-19, including how to divvy up Federal CARES Act funding. Overall, Macon Bibb County was allocated over $8 million for phase one of three. It, it given us an opportunity to specialize in some plan directly addressing the COVID. Commissioner Virgil Watkins wants to set aside a million dollars for local organizations who support the homeless, like Daybreak, Loaves and Fishes, and the Salvation Army. In a statement to 13 WMAZ, Major Johnny Poole with the Salvation Army says if they receive some money, they'll, quote, be able to assist with rental payments, utility bills, and housing and utility payments. Watkins also wants to set aside another million dollars for a grant fund to support local agencies that provide food for elderly, disabled, and vulnerable people in the county. And he wants to allocate a million dollars for resources relating to remote learning to help Bibb County school students and families. Also outfitting parts of rec facilities with Wi-Fi and things of that nature where thinking can have some impact. And lastly, Watkins wants to put $1 million towards a grant fund for small businesses who have taken a hit from COVID-19, specifically those who have not received support from the Federal Paycheck Protection Program. The county has already spent money that will be reimbursed through the CARES Act funding. Some of those expenses include personal protective equipment for employees, paid medical leave, and teleworking technology. As more employees get sick or having to go out for testing, as things continue happening with the population at large, um, how we continue to make sure that, again, picking up the track here, cutting the grass, now is probably the bigger concern over actual financial problem. And how CARES Act funding works in this case is the county will pull money out of the fund balance and the federal government will reimburse them for money spent. The county has until September 1st to spend all $8 million. Reporting in Megan, Ashland Webb, 13 W Maisie News. According to the proposals on the agenda, Macon Bibb County could receive around $26 million in coronavirus relief funding in all three phases combined.